this is going to be final. This is going to be set and I'm very excited. So. Yes, sir. -y. What's going on, people? Century Medical Actor here, back again with another video. It's the end of 2022 already. It's December 11th. I cannot believe it. We're at the end of the year. Most of you know, if you've been following along with the channel, my Instagram page, you'll know that the permit for my collection room to be, which I am walking around in as we speak, it's been an arduous journey but it's given me ample time to figure out exactly what I wanna do with the space down here. So I am going to, in a few moments, walk through this entire space one last time while it's unfinished to show you what is in my crazy head and what I believe will be the final layout uh, for this room. I had my contractors back here uh, just the other day to show them they love the ideas. I've made eh, one or two minor tweaks since then, nothing crazy, uh, but I truly believe this is going to be final. This is going to be set and I'm very excited. So without any further delay, any more talking without showing, let's get to the walkthrough. Through the invisible door, we'll do a quick pan here. And as you can see, I don't remember if I had laid down the blocks. I think I did in my last update video, but the block configuration for cabinets has changed. So as you can see here, we've got all of these blocks laid out, which indicates dimensions of custom shelving. Starting here on the right side, directly when you walk in, you have a 20 by 20 by 36 inch high cube. The space all the way around it will be closed. And that will be the case for all of these statues. I just think that for me, I'd rather have, you know, less is more. And I feel like the statues that I have and the scale that I have them in, it's best to view these things waist high. And that's how I'm going to do it. So uh, each of these cubes will be 36 inches high. Uh, this particular one is 20 by 20 by 36, of course. And then we have here, this paint mixer denotes a gap empty space between displays. So we have a 20 by 20 cube gap, another 20 by 20 cube. And I should mention, I plan to put Frodo and Gollum prime one Lord of the Rings here. This whole area is going to be my Lord of the Rings statue collection. Um, but Frodo and Gollum here, gap, Gimli prime one, 20 by 20 cube gap, 30 by 30 by 36 cube. In the corner here, I think I'm going to put, I might put T, I might put Tiamat here, PCS Tiamat. Um, I need a piece that will look good facing inward towards the room on that angle. I was going to initially put Legolas there, but I think Tiamat would be a great fit there. It's going to be a really big beefy piece and I think that would look perfect in this corner. Gap, 20 by 20 space. Right now I plan to put Lertz Prime 1, Gap, and then these three cubes for the bigger boys, we've got, they're all 30 by 30. So 30 by 30 by of course 36 inch high. Urukai Berserker just came in actually the other day, found it on my doorstep, Prime 1, Gap. This is going to be Witch King, 30 by 30 cube, Prime 1, Gap, Open Space which is kind of nice. Initially, I was going to put Clouth here from PCS. And now that I think about it, Clouth there and Tiamat in the corner to kind of have the, the dragons on each end is, is, is kind of cool. Um, but I'll show you what my plans are for Clouth, and I, I do really think it's, uh, it's a good one. So anyway, that is the right side of the wall. If we come move over here, and if, you know, as you can kind of see, the imaginary line that I'm drawing with my hand here that goes to the left side of this wall when you come in. All statues, like I mentioned. So hopefully this is kinda painting some sort of picture. But um, another 30 by 30 cube, probably put Sauron here, prime one, gap. All 63 inches, it's about that paint stir right there. I'm. This is room for growth, I'm hoping this is open, I'm hoping we get 
a Prime 1 Cave Troll announcement with the uh, next showcase, Showcase Part 2, which uh, is due out this month. Very excited for that on YouTube. Gap 30 by 30 cube. Gandalf, once it's up for pre-order on Prime 1, that will be mine, putting it there. Gap, and then the Balrog Gandalf diorama, which I have already, which will go here. So, all of that said, Prime 1 statues, all quarter scale stuff. And then as we, a couple of non-scale, as we walk through here, crossing over the magic threshold into action figure land, which is this entire wall all the way with some stuff mixed in between, but essentially all of that space back there, the toy nook as I call it. So when we start over here, so again, statues ended here. We have empty space, which I uh, covet for walking. So nothing's gonna go there. Maybe I'll put you know some art or something on this wall, but this is walking space so you can clearly see this. And then I also want something to really just clear pathways uh, and a distinction between you know statues and action figures. Over here, uh, we'll have a 20 inch deep, all the way up to the ceiling, lit up cabinet for action figures. And you can see over here, all of this, this is about 120 inches wide, 36 inches deep. It'll be 36 inches high to stay consistent with the rest of the room. However, statues will not be going on this. This is going to be my Eternia wall. The Eternia playset will go smack dab in the middle of this display. That's pretty much what I'm building it around. And I will also add the other Origins play sets. Uh, Snake Mountain's coming out, which is great. I have Grayskull. Hopefully we get the Slime Pit. Um, I, you know, I just hope we get, I hope we get as many Origins uh, Motu play sets in Origins form as we possibly can. Old and hopefully even new. Um, so, but this should, this should, this should easily be able to fit Eternia, Snake Mountain, Gray Skull, Fright Zone, Slime Pit, um, and I'd be happy even just with those, but um, whatever else I can fit onto this, of course, with some figures. And over here will be, on the other side, will be another 45 inch wide. I don't know if I mentioned that on the other side, but 45 inch wide, 20 inch deep, lit up cabinet for more action figures. And then, we walk into the toy nook. And as you can see, I really tried to make this, you know, symmetrical all the way around. I, you know, I tried to make a match up with all the different stuff that I have going on here, but um, even though the, the themes are very, very tight, which I'm happy about, but you know, there's still a lot of stuff going on. So um, the cabinet ends there, right? This is walking space. You walk in to the toy nook here on the right. We'll start on the right. This is a 60, about a 60 inch wide, 20 inch deep and it will be 24 inches tall another statue box like we have similar to over you know in this room but we're just going to have something custom over here as well and on top of this i'm thinking of putting the xm studios one-third scale because i need to have this and i'm probably going to go with the kirby green hulk instead of the gray i have to figure that out let me know in the comments what you guys think. But the one-third scale monster Green Hulk statue I plan to put right here along with the one-third scale uh, XM Legendary Beast Studios, I should say. Legendary Beast Studios, uh, Incredible Hulk, one-third. And then also when it comes out, the probably get the Tony as well, one-third. I really like that a lot. Um, and I think they'll look great together right here. And then above them, and those are big pieces. Hulk is close to 40 inches tall. Uh, so, but it'll, it'll, be, it'll be good because I didn't want to initially, when you walked in here, I was gonna have the toy nook start like over here. I just didn't like the idea of just like walking into like a big side panel of just like black cabinet. I wanted to at least try and have something catch your eye a little open before we get into all the toys. And I needed a place to put my graded cards. So this is the idea around the graded card. So I'm going to put two big statues here. And then right above that on the wall will be a case for my graded Marvel cards. Uh, and while, you know, you might be saying, well, I thought this was a toy nook. What's the deal with no toys yet? But it, it is the toy nook. And you'll see that in a second. But part of toys, you know, part of just, I mean, everything 
that I do, everything that motivates me with collecting is driven by nostalgia. And, you know, these two statues coming in will be perfect representations of some of my favorite characters in adult form for me that I can appreciate. And then in the background, traded, you know, trading cards, Marvel cards for me, I directly equate and associate with all of my toy collecting as a child. You know, Impel Series 1, Marvel Universe, uh, you know, Masterpiece, 1992 Masterpieces, Joe Jusco. I mean, th these are things that are directly associated with my childhood and all the, you know, I was collecting those cards and, you know, I had toys uh, all at the same time. So to have, I need the, uh, and I have a nice, a pretty nice uh, graded card collection that I've been collecting for many, many years. Love to have that, you know, displayed right here on the wall. Um, it would really, you know, it's really indicative to me of my childhood. So to have that with some grown adult stuff as well, uh, below it, representing the theme, I think would be great. And then over here, that starts um, about 17 inches deep. Think about this is all going to be floor to ceiling up until right there, that block. So floor to ceiling, about a 10 inch riser. Uh, and then the rest just all the way up to the ceiling, all the way around. Think Billy bookcase, but deeper. And uh, it'll be black, all lit up. And uh, again, 17 inches deep around here. It gets a little deeper back there, which is great. Comes out, I think, about 20 plus inches or so, which is awesome. Um, I'm hoping at least. And then we angle back into about 15 inches uh, deep off the wall. But again, all action figures, all action figures, all action figures, all action figures, all action figures. Um, plenty of room for play sets, plenty of room for risers, uh, for toys. And then over here where it comes out a bit again, and, you know, to try and help, uh, bring some other aesthetic light to this, um, as you can see here, I have this piece coming out. It's deeper than where the, the toy nook part starts, the toys start, right? And then this part comes out 25 inches deep. It's about close to 30 inches wide. It'll be, um, well, this is going to be like 24 inches high and this one's going to be 36 inches high. Um, I have to figure out if I want to even out because the scales are different for both of those statues, the statues here and the, the statue that's going to go here, which is PCS Clough is going to go here. So I need to figure out the height if I want the height to be different or not on that box and this box, but whatever for now. Um, PCS Clough. A big red dragon, for anyone that is unaware, is going right here, a statue. And then above that will be another graded uh, card cabinet for my uh, Magic the Gathering graded cards. And then, of course, like I mentioned, kind of gets set back a bit, and then all toys. So, if, you, if we look at this from here, when we start the toy section, you've got the cabinet here. This thing comes out for more toys, goes back in for another cabinet. I'm probably going to put my uh, the Motu shipper that I just found, that arduous journey. Uh, put that right here. It's actually like the perfect space for it. And then the whole th this structure kind of just continues right over into here. So you've got something that juts out a bit more with the statue, comes back in for the toy nook, wraps all the way around, comes back out here with. Uh, Two big statues with both um, graded cards on each wall. And that, folks, is it. I'm leaving the middle of this uh, space open. Initially, I was going to put Tiamat in the middle, but too disruptive for me. Um, and also, when you walk into the room, I just don't want anything disrupting what you see, you know, around you uh, from any angle. And, um, you know, walking space is very important to me, like I mentioned before. So I didn't want to have all this stuff connecting. And also, I just don't, this is like too big of a space to me. And just like, you know, I just feel like I, I just want it to be a bit more thoughtful. Again, if I sacrifice, you know, a bit of space for what I feel like is a nicer display, you know, then so be it. I could have just been like, yeah, you know, 30 inch deep, go all the way to the end. Same thing, wrap it all the way around. You know, I, that's going to look, I don't want a Congo line of statues. So that's just me. Anyway, that, folks, is going to do it. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. And hopefully the next time we see this freaking room, it's got a permit approved. And it's got some walls and tile and paint and some collectibles in it.
And that, folks, is going to wrap it up for this final walkthrough of 2022. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And hopefully the next time we have a video down here, like I mentioned before, it will be in a finished room, not an unfinished room. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.